Uncapped players in Dowie Lake, who uh, is a young guy that we've been looking at for some time. We actually had him in our Barbar's squad or extended squad right back in 2019. So he's a young guy that's kept in Wales, under 20s. Um, and we think he's a very, very uh, good player with a big future. Um, Jack Morgan, uh, obviously been in and around selection um, with the injuries that we've got. It's a great opportunity for Jack to show what he's uh, what he can offer at this level of the game and uh, we'll learn a lot about him and he'll learn a lot uh, about this level of the game I'm sure. And, and uh, James Ratty, uh, a young bloke who's gone from the second row into the loose forwards. Again as I say a position where you know there were going to be some um, new players with the uh, with the injuries and he's a player that uh, excites us with his size. He's pretty um, pretty new to the position as I say and uh, he'll learn a lot we look forward to uh, having him uh, on board as well. And in terms of captaincy we've named Dan Bigger. Um, you know, with the experience that's missing in Alan Jones, Ken Owens, uh, Justin Tipperick, uh, the Toby Fellatales of the world, George North, there's a lot of experience missing. So we wanted somebody that's uh, experienced this competition on a number of occasions. Um, he knows the rigours of the competition. So he gives us that experience, 95 test caps, you know, toured with the British and Irish Lions. So we also think at this stage he's holding down the number one spot in his position, which is important. He's got the respect of the other players and management, so we think he'd do a great job. We've uh, got a vice captain, Adam Beard, uh, and that's more of a look to the future uh, with Adam. Uh, he's always uh, run our lineouts in the last couple of years, and he's had that responsibility, so a little bit more added responsibility for him. It's a very, very exciting competition. Uh, privileged to the fact that uh, we were able to win it last year and um, you know to come back into the competition. Uh, looking to win it again, uh, which every team is obviously trying to do. It's going to be uh, an exciting challenge. First up, it's an introductory day Monday, just get them all set into camp and uh, really set the guidelines and, and what we're about and, and making sure that everyone's focused on the job ahead. Look, it's going to be an exciting time to get everyone back into camp and uh, we're very much looking forward to it. Over the moon that the crowds will be there Look, in the autumn series, you know, comparing that with uh, you know, test matches without crowds. We had players that had played 10, 15 test matches, hadn't played in front of a crowd. So that was exciting in the autumns and to have that uh, happening again in the Six Nations is just fantastic for us. I think they're the best crowd in the world, best atmosphere, best stadium. So we look forward to those three home games.